Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 1st, 2019. Get your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, rated the number one exchange planner by Denarians for Denarians for both pre and post RV planning. The instructions are in the description below. Simply fill out the form and an email will be sent to you with the download link. Mention the Denarian and get $10 off the full version. I encourage you. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. And know we all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. The Kurdish delegation in Baghdad is optimistic about a final agreement. Engaged in the draft budget law. The delegation of the Kurdistan regional government, which is visiting Baghdad, on Sunday, a meeting with senior officials in the federal government, to discuss issues of the general budget and oil. After the meeting, the regional minister for relations with Baghdad said at a press conference that Sunday's meetings with Baghdad officials were positive and made good steps, hoping to reach the final agreement on Monday. For his part, a member of the Kurdish government delegation, Amid Saba, said there is a preliminary understanding, indicating that everyone is busy writing details of the draft law of the Iraqi budget for the year 2020. Next article of interest. Kirk delegation had positive meeting with federal officials about budget. Official. Suleimani, a delegation from the Kurdistan regional government, KRG, had a positive meeting with federal officials in Baghdad on Sunday, December 1st. A KRG cabinet member has said. We hope to reach an agreement tomorrow, said KRG Minister of State College Chwani, telling reporters that both sides have taken very good steps. Talks centered about the region's share of the federal budget for 2020, which was set at 12.67% in 2019. Commenting on Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi stepping down. Shwani emphasized earlier on Sunday that the Kurdistan region makes agreements with the government, not a specific person. Following the Council of Representatives' acceptance of the Prime Minister's resignation on Sunday, the government shifted to caretaker status, government spokesperson Saad al Hadithi said. The latest round of talks follows an agreement between Erbil and Baghdad over the issue of oil, which is closely tied to the budget. Minister of Oil Thay Mergadbin said the KRG had agreed to export 250,000 barrels of oil per day through Baghdad to Turkey's Sehan next year, which represented a belated implementation of the 2019 federal budget law. Coordinator of the Council of Representatives Finance Committee Ahmed Safar said on Wednesday that Baghdad is expected to send nearly 1 trillion Iraqi dinars, $838 million per month to the Kurdistan region in 2020 if the agreements are implemented. Next article of interest. Real reforms maximize revenue and contribute to its multiplicity. One of the reform steps the government is embarking on in response to popular demands is to correct the country's fiscal policy. Financial expert Thamer Alazawi believes that the financial policy followed by the competent authorities such as the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank has succeeded during the past period compared to the conditions experienced by the country, especially with regard to the preservation of the value of the Iraqi dinar and the financial stock, which has increased, despite recent events. However, he stressed to Al Saba the need to correct or update this policy in line with the requirements, in terms of diversifying and maximizing revenues, operating the accumulated funds in banks, and the introduction of the private sector as a key partner for the advancement of the economy. The reality of the economy. The expert warned that the need to adopt reform decisions that change the reality of the economy and move it to a better stage and that there are real reforms that contain the total problems experienced by the national economy since contracts. Al-Azawi called on state institutions to find ways to support these programs and the establishment of seminars and workshops involving experts and academics to reach common points to start in the real implementation. 
the Finance Committee hosted the Governor of the Central Bank and the Director General of the Tax Authority to discuss the issue of maximizing non-oil revenues and assessing the monetary and economic policy of the country. Maximizing Revenue The Chairman of the Finance Committee, Haytham al Jubari, according to a press statement, supporting the Iraqi economic reality and moving it through the correction of financial policy and rectification, and not rely on oil alone as a resource and maximize revenue through the government's urgent action controls the waste of billions of dollars a year in border ports through the process of automation customs and tax procedures. The Finance Committee indicated that it will continue its supervisory role by holding more meetings and hosts, to find imbalances in the economic reality of the country, and to hold accountable the negligent and the performance of their work and corrupt wherever their positions and positions as well as to continue its legislative role, which contributed to the adoption of the most important laws during the current crisis and the adoption of new laws to help solve the country's financial problems. Real Reforms To that member of the Baghdad Economic Forum Jassim al Aradi, the need to work to have real reforms that move the change of the reality of the national economy and move it to a better stage, and this is not complicated but we can see the fruits of reforms within a short period, because of the elements of success that are unique to Iraq however, we need good governance to achieve a smooth implementation of the work in its form. He pointed out that, the promotion of production quickly, is possible, although relatively first of all in the industrial sector, in various industries required by the process of economic development especially as some industries have already begun and need protection to develop and expand in a way that meets the ambition, and that the agricultural sector is poised to promote production and fully cover domestic demand for some crops in its seasons. Agricultural Sector Next Article of Interest The Security Council on Tuesday discussed the situation in Iraq in Balsak Hart Report. The UN Security Council will hold a session on Tuesday on the situation in Iraq. A statement by the United Nations Mission in Iraq, UNAMI, that the Security Council will hold a meeting on the situation in Iraq on Tuesday, December 3, 2019 at 10 a.m. New York time, 6 p.m. Baghdad time. The special representative will give a briefing on developments in Iraq shortly after the start of the meeting, said Janine hens Blachart. The increasing number of casualties and injuries has reached intolerable levels, she said in a tweet on 29th November. The presence of engineers to derail peaceful protests puts Iraq on a dangerous course. Security Council in New York on what is going on in Iraq on Tuesday, 3rd December. Iraq has been witnessing two months of demonstrations against the government resulted in the response of the authorities killed more than 420 people were killed and thousands wounded in the capital Baghdad and areas of the south. Next article of interest. Parliamentary law reveals the date of voting on the election and commission laws. The legal committee in the Iraqi parliament, on Sunday, the date of the vote on the elections for the House of Representatives and the Electoral Commission. Committee member Salim Hamza told I of Iraq News that the House of Representatives will be discussed on Monday. An expanded meeting includes the presidency of the parliament and leaders of the blocs and the competent committees, the elections and the commission, to resolve differences and differences on the two laws. Hamza said that we believe that the vote on the elections and the electoral commission will be during the next week and not the current, this week will be devoted to resolve differences and agree on points of law controversy, with procedures and amendment to some paragraphs of the law. Next article of interest. After the departure of Abdul Mahdi. Friendly atmosphere between the demonstrators and security forces in Rashid Street. Photos. The lens of the news agency took pictures on Sunday evening of a friendly atmosphere that prevailed in Baghdad demonstrations between demonstrators and security forces in Al Rashid Street, after Parliament accepted the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, and 40 days of violence and the fall of martyrs. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as news unfolds from Iraq. Get your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner. The instructions are in the description below.
simply fill out the form and an email will be sent to you with the download link. Mention the Denarian and get $10 off. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. More articles of interest to come. Over and out for now. The Denarian.